Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we're about 24 hours in to my free to play venture, and you wouldn't believe it. We've got her already. Shiny buttocks, shiny bosoms, War Maiden. <laughs> She's in. So, what have I been doing? I've been farming a level where I can use Mikhail as a solo farmer to farm up um, my champions. And all I'm doing right now is food farming, but what I want to do is farm a stage where I can get something else. And what else can I get? War Maiden. Absolutely top-notch, free-to-play champion that's going to come into my roster later on down the line. I'm trying to get, desperately trying to get my Kale to five-star. That's where we're up to. So we're just farming through, nice and chilled, smacking our way through stuff. All of this food has got no gear on it at all. They're literally just being... Um, Fattened up, getting fattened up for the slaughter, and uh, soon Kale is going to munch those up and become a five star. Five star is when it starts to get interesting, then I can push further on through the campaign. And really, where I want to get to is brutal campaign as quickly as I can. So you see here, we're just kind of burning our way through, selling whatever comes up, and very soon he's going to be a three star. He's going to enable me to level up my Kale, which is kind of like the next big step for me. I mentioned in my video yesterday, try and win this novice tournament. If you can't win it, at least get yourself the speed stuff. Bam! I've just got it. So I'm at 1,023 points. Some mad Nicky, damn you mad Nicky, um, is, is beating me here. I kind of would like to at least get third spot for that rare book. The best way I'm going to do it really is by starting to diversify where I spend my time. I'm spending a lot of time in campaign so far and places like the arena will get you more points um, for your kind of time. So arena is probably the best place to win that tournament if you're really going to try and push for it. But you can see here we're up against it a little bit, but slam, see you later. And we should be able to at least win the majority of fights that I go after anyway. Again, as I said, in the arena, you're just looking for people basically with a lower team power than you. At this stage and we're starting to already come up i'm on bronze three somehow already we're starting to come up against a few higher team powers so it's getting a bit tight and honestly i don't really have a lot of gear going on in anyone other than my kale right now i'll show you that in a sec but yeah we're just earning ourselves some points for that um tournament and are we going to win it maybe not but i do want to get myself in the top three at least as i say because that's going to do quite a lot of work for us in terms of just getting us a bit more reward for our time. Don't kill my Kale. Don't kill my Kale. Kale's dead. Kill there, Kale. We've got a chance. Kill her. Take it off auto. If, if in doubt, take it off auto. Oh, she's dead. Oh, he's dead. And we're through. So another nine points there. See that? So yeah, the arena can be a nice kind of little source of points. Um, I have defeated... The first few levels of dungeons already with these kind of makeshift champions that I've got just to give myself some points. I defeated the first few levels of keeps on most of them to get myself some points. Uh, it's also enabled me to ascend my Kale. So my Kale is Ascension level three, which boosts his stats. Um, and I've also pulled a second Kale out of Mystery Shards, which is pretty lucky. So I've got a second Kale in the mix. Let me just show you what's going on with him. Uh, I literally just picked up something. It's dwarves. Don't need that. So yeah, we've got the second piece of life still gear on him now. Everything's level 12. Okay. We're starting to get some stats together. 149 speed. 40% crit rate. Uh, a little bit of attack. So we're starting to gain a little bit of stats that can actually do some work. Um, and as I say, I'm just kind of like ruthlessly trying to push up to five star as soon as I can to be able to get the job done on my Kale. So if you guys are looking for like a second game to play whilst you're hitting that replay button on your raid account, I actually play another game called Summoner's Glory. You can get involved as well. Um, it's another collector style game, so it's a gotcha style game. I'd say it's way more free to play friendly than raid is. Um, basically you're collecting up your phantoms, forming your squads, going out, um, similar sort of style to what we've got in raid. You can empower your own champion with items, uh, I, I think it's probably the next closest to Raid in terms of visual quality content um, that I've found. I think it's probably the next best thing. 
um, and it's newer, it's a younger game. There's a lot more community-led gameplay than there is in Raid. So you will find that there's actually a reason to be in a guild in this in this game. Uh, you can actually team up with two other people for dungeons. So it's trying to be more like a community game. It's a super fun game. Um, I'm going to link it up above here, the video where I talk through the 10 main reasons that I would play Summoner's Glory. If you're interested, watch it. If you're not, fine. Up to you guys. You can start the game. I'll put links down below in the pin message. If you use creator code HELL, then you get yourself free summoning books and um, some Brucey bonuses when you get started. So if you're interested, use that. If not, let's get back to the free-to-play shenanigans. I've been pushing through missions, so we're through quite a bit. 300 gems here. This is the juicy prize. That means we're going to get way closer to getting our masteries. So we're already up to 340 on the gems. So I've been pushing through these in like little little spats. Yeah, you kind of tends to be... I'm sticking on artifacts a little bit because I've got such crap gear that I don't really want to level it. So, um, you know, that will kind of come in a couple of days or so. But let's see what these new speed pieces are like. Let's see what all that fuss was about. What have we got? Crit rate and accuracy, not bad. I want to see speed substat on one of these, please. Defense and resistance, pretty bad. Flat stat defense gloves with defense percent, pretty bad. Please be speed boots. Oh, yikes. So I've been pretty damn unlucky with just about all of that gear. None of that gear is overly good um, for, my, for my sort of setup here. So anyway, I will persevere. We will get good stuff. Don't worry about that. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, guys, it's happening. So we have got another four star now. How many have we got? One, two, three. I need to take him out of my defense. This is where you get ruthless. So you kind of think to yourself, these champions have been pretty useful so far. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna eat those. I'll keep them as forty, and then I'll, I'll farm some more food up. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Stop thinking like that. Maybe keep sniper because sniper's actually pretty damn good. But for me, I'm literally like, no. Get yourself your five star as quick as you can. Sorry, War Maiden, you're gone. Um, I'm going to remove her gear though because she's actually got okay gear. Same with him. Bam. I'm using up two of the people that I've used to get me this far so far to get myself Kale five star. Wow, we've done it. 24 hours in, we've got ourselves a five star. And that's huge. That's absolutely huge um, for my account now. So it now means that, yeah, we're going to take a little bit longer to to just power him up a touch and we're going to get some new supporting cast coming in but we're going to keep trying to farm the same area i might have to put sniper in now while he's weak and we're going to need a new supporting act yeah so that we can get ourselves through the campaign level so we're going to start building up the support maybe with war maiden now someone that i'm going to keep because i need to get myself through the end of stage 12 and then back to um like the next level might be able to still just do this without any supporting cast yet. I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's a big monumental change for me. I've got where I wanted to get to on the tournament. We've got KO up to five star pretty damn quick. And we're burning on. So let's see if we can't finish the end of the first kind of stages of campaign relatively fast. And yeah, start to work our way towards places where we can actually get gear, which is what I need. I need gear. Let's go. So we're already like up to level 21. Doesn't take long to get stuff going. I just want to say a couple of things that I'm doing as well for info. I'm not buying the packs, guys. Not buying them. Um, I have been pushing on with challenges. So you can see here I've got energy stacking up when I need it. Uh, I've got things like refills. I've got things like XP boosts. Don't use them. You don't need to use them yet. Just hold on to them until you actually need them. Um, similarly with the quests, I've got my Ascend done. I've got my rank sum up to rank 4 done. You saw I just ranked someone to rank 5, so I just got those gems. I collect the gems because they're just going to sit in store. But anything that's energy-based, I'm just holding it until the last possible time to use it. Because the more I level, the more these pots are worth. Okay? Uh, the other thing which I did yesterday that I've not shown you guys, I've done Faction Wars in Dark, um, Dark Elf Crypt. Because guess why? I've got Kale, and Kale's an absolute beast. So he's the only person I've got, and Sniper actually, they're both in the same faction, so they're just boosting me on 
to the early level stuff, you complete this as high a level as you can. Okay. The higher level you complete, the better chance you've got of getting decent glyphs. And if you can only complete level one, just complete level one 12 times. Get yourself 12 level one glyphs. Before long, you'll be like, yes, I'm so pleased that I did that because all of those extra one star glyphs or eventually two star glyphs, they're going to massively enhance your gear when you start to worry about gearing. So Faction Wars is just a must. I've got Frozen Air, which means I'm going to lose this level. I'm not quite strong enough, but I'm only level 21 here on this Kale. Before long, we're going to be level 50, and then we'll just blow our way through this. But for now, this is going to be a fail. It doesn't matter. I don't lose my key. I can just literally go back and try it again if I want. Maybe not an auto. Or I can come back a level to one I can beat and just be like, fine. We're just going to beat this one today six times. Uh, as it goes, I will come back and, and try that harder level because I know that I've got a way more um, growth in this Kale just from leveling them up to 50. They'll get a lot more stats and they'll probably be able to survive those hits. So Faction Wars, getting done, getting my Kale up to 50. I've got the shiny War Maiden already. Um, I'm just going to get cracking and then we're going to beat that uh, campaign on normal to finish the video off. Okay, we've powered up Kale. Kale's now level 39. I've got himself a motley crew behind him. Um, so we're keeping Sniper. We've got the second Kale coming up to four star. We've got War Maiden just been four starred. Other than that, we've got an execution here. I've collected a bunch of shield guards to the same area that I've just been farming for War Maidens. And I've got three in the end. So my War Maiden has been booked twice. You also get Shield Guard, who's an awesome, awesome uncommon. So we will build him out eventually. But. Do I have enough firepower in this team to get me through normal campaign? That's the question. We should have enough to just blow up wave one. Sometimes it's actually not a bad thing to have a couple of minions alive to try and run through a second ability, but uh, we didn't get it there. Try and blow up wave two. I don't have much in the way of stats here, so I'm not expecting miracles, but... Um, we're not too bad either. She's going to give us a bit of damage. My War Maiden's going to sit down, I'd imagine. It's not too bad. Heal there. Heal here. On to the boss. Boss is kind of nasty. We've got some AoE new kid, just not bad. I'm going to try and kill an ad. So it's not going to cause us too many troubles. Power the damage into the boss. Remember, I'm not worried about freestyling right now. I'm just worried about um, getting through the stage. We'll come back and freestyle stuff later on. Bam, bam, bam. See you later. Kale number two. But damn, we've done it. Story mode done. I'm sure you've all read this in full. Listen to it. Awesome story. Yes, yes, Arbiter. We will get our job done. So we've got ourselves a void shard. There's actually a two times void this weekend. Never know. Might get that crisp. Um, just on that, if I do pull a crazy legendary, he's just going to sit in the vault. I'm not going to use him. Um, so there we go. First one, uh, normal's done. And now we can just get onto hard and basically power our way through as far as we can on hard. The further you go in campaign, the more experience you get per uh, level. So you just want to keep punching on as quick as you can through the different levels. So there you go, guys. We have got a five-star Kale smashing his way through stuff. We have got a um, faction we'll keep, which is starting to get done. We've got ourselves through the novice tournament to get the speed gear, which turned out to be rubbish. And we beat a normal campaign 24 hours in. Woo! Let's keep going. I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.